Hello, welcome to Working Dragon Mystic, where we discuss real metaphysical and occult knowledge so that you can manifest real and tangible change in your life. And this week, we are going to continue our series on the Goetic Spirits with the 28th Spirit of the Goetia, Berith. Okay? Now, this is a spirit, honestly, we don't get to hear a lot about, so I'm a little bit excited about this. But hey, guys. We're back to the Goetic series here in the new office. Um, I'm getting back in the swing of things. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments and emails um, now that I'm moved asking, did we do, uh, how was the move? It was great. We're doing well. Everybody's fine. And asking about different projects. Now, <clears throat> these Goetic videos usually take a while, so I'm not going to update you on everything. But I will try to do a video and update for you all and get that posted. As well, I'll let you know, we do got some pretty cool stuff coming, I think think um or i think it's cool we do have it coming whether you all think it's cool i guess that's a different statement um one funny thing i've been asked that i want to share this video is y'all ask why i don't drink more coffee during the videos honestly i was trying to be polite and not take sips and stop talking um that's about it but hey y'all want me to drink coffee i'll drink coffee i'm never gonna say no to drinking coffee um but i no, nah, seriously, I'll probably only take a drink if my throat gets dry. Um, anyway, let's get on into this. To um, I've always pronounced it birth or birth, birth is um birth or birth is how I've always heard it pronounced. Um, I'll be honest with you, I think I pronounce it birth most of the time, but I do like when I'm thinking about it, I try to get the I in there, that birth. Um, just because. It doesn't sound like you're having a baby. Um, so during this, if I don't put the I in and it comes out sounding like birth, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Um, that's, I guess that's me talking too fast for my own enunciations, which I shouldn't do. I shouldn't do that, should I? But nobody's perfect. So let's get into this. Um, this particular spirit of the Goetia, traditionally within the Goetia, is to describe, has been described to look like a soldier with red clothing, riding a red horse, having a crown of gold upon his head. Pretty cool, right? Um, I've even been asked, uh, you know, is this perhaps the red horse rider from Revelations? I don't know. Um, I'll be honest, that is an email and a question I got um, from an individual who knew I was going to get, they, they realized I'm doing these in numeric order. Um, Unfortunately, I did not have time to look into that before this video, though I'll admit it's never crossed my mind. And I mean, part of me wants to just go over there and get my uh, Bible and you know look it up and do some cross-referencing, um, but that'll have to wait for another video at another time, because that's an interesting question. And to the individual who emailed me that, thank you very much. I always love finding new things to research, and that has got my interest, so... Now, as far as me personally, the soldier, yes, definitely. Uh, Bereth definitely tends to pop up and have that soldier-esque um, vibe about him. Um, I have seen him both with like a helmet that kind of looks like a crown as well as a crown, but no helmet. Um, red is definitely a dominant color. Sometimes the armor itself is all red. Think um, Bram Stoker's Dracula, kind of just red looking. Um, sometimes it is just metal or um bronze age style armor that um is largely heavily accented in red um and sometimes it is a leather armor again heavily accented in red and red cloth um but that red is definitely dominant now i don't always see him on a horse i have seen him on a horse a time or three um uh honestly and truly the red horse more often than not shows up as a reddish hair like you've seen those reddish brown breeds of horses you 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 horse folk you horse guys out there there's probably a big fancy name for it. i apologize i don't know it um but the reddish brown horse breeds you know um actually has more often than not it looks like that um not like a scarlet red now that said i have talked to a few magicians who they do see this kind of scarlet looking horse. Um, and at least in one occasion in my journals, I have noted that I saw it. 
most of the time working this one entity when the horse shows up it's just a reddish brown horse looks like a you know a horse to me um but that's not to say you won't see that scarlet variant because clearly i've seen it at least once i found it in my journals i know plenty of magicians who have seen it so keep that open mind there you know keep it going see what might happen i've also seen this individual in modern fatigues yes in the red um but that's honestly a rarer one. And I think that had to do specifically with the exact ritual in which I was working because I was working for a client. Um, so I think it had a lot to do with that. But no complaints here. No complaints at all. Um, all right. So now we got a little checklist, you know, rank, metal, planet, color, element, those kinds of things. Let's get through that checklist, shall we? All right, here we go um checklist first off rank um barith is considered a duke within the ranking system of the goetia again take this you know different traditions will place uh, barith in different um areas but in the goetia they got him listed as a duke um the metal most often associated with this particular spirit of the goetia is copper um the planet most often associated with this spirit of the goetia is venus the color most associated with this spirit is green. And polish, I got like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. I got a bad itch. Okay, got to act like a bear. Um, Okay, sorry about that. So the color again is green. Um, the element most associated with them is, it's not earth, it's fire. That's right, it's fire. Everybody expects, if the color is green, the element to be earth. It is not. In this case, it is fire um so there you go those are the quick hit course most common again most common i've seen some people that differ these are just most common all right now before we move into the areas in which the spirit can be worked with and why myself and many other magicians adore working with this spirit how about we go ahead and get the sigil up there all right we'll get that up here right. there you go that would be the the sigil of this particular entity Barith, um, pretty interesting little sigil if you ask me. Um, it can be one of the more complex ones if you're hand drawing it, I admit. Um, honestly, that's kind of why I, I either hand draw them in a book that I plan to keep it in long term or I just print the dang things. Or pull it up and use it on a screen. You can do that as well. Don't forget that. All right. Now, let's get into where this spirit is actually helpful and you might consider using it. So, in the Goetia, um, this spirit's original purpose would have been described as, will give truthful answers, can turn all metals to gold, and he can give dignities. Cool. Um, I think it's fair to say that all magicians I know who have worked with this spirit have indeed tried to have this spirit turn uh, metal into gold. Just for research purposes and to this day of the thousands of magicians i've spoken to not one has had a genuine result of transferring this metal to gold even if it's left on the altar year long rituals done daily it's still the metal it was before so that's a thing um and we also know that the Goetia in its original writings is kind of encoded. It's kind of interpreted. It's not a literal, you know? So I have a lot of people come to me and they ask, Drake, how does this function? How does this work? How can this be applied modernly if I can't take and turn copper or steel to gold? Glad you asked, because we're going to talk about it. All right. One of the big things that I personally and many magicians use this spirit for is to help make good investment choices. That's right. Good investment choices. Now, if we think about that turn metal to gold, gold was considered high value. Other metals were used for cheaper coinages and the likes. So you could grow your wealth using this spirit. This may or may not be how they intended it. That may, you know, we don't know. Um, but <clears throat> I can say that if I'm taking less, um, lower amounts of money and investing it, putting it to work, and it's producing larger amounts of money or continuing to grow my, you know, and make me money with me not having to do anything, 
that's as good as gold. And I can honestly say this entity has produced gold for me in that manner. I have been able to invest. I've been able to grow a passive income and all that. And I've been able to do so by consulting and discussing things with this spirit. And in all honesty, um, this spirit has steered me clear of a few investments I was considering making. And just like a few months to a year later, those particular investments went full belly up. I would have lost everything. Absolute tanked. Um, at the same time, many of the investments and areas that they pointed me to, to research, look into, and even encouraged me to invest in, I done pretty well. Now, let me put a caveat here because I am not a financial advisor in any shape, form, or fashion, and I cannot tell you what to invest into. All investing you do is at your own risk. That said, you should also not just do a ritual and take an entity's 100% um, guarantee that you're going to be rich. I always approach with caution, and you should too. Um, so anytime you invest, do so at your own risk. I personally tell people, find a good ETF, something stable that you like that you can put into that's going to grow or give back to you. Nice way to do it. But there's thousands and thousands of different ways out there to invest. But I would encourage you. And if you are interested in investing, you're currently practicing investing or you're willing to learn more, this is an entity that can help you. It can, it can help you to learn those things, okay? Now, the next place where I have really enjoyed working with this entity is to help find your inner strength and determination. We all have it. We, there's always strength down there. Even the most flighty of people I've ever met, the ones who will jump at their own shadow or a leaf blown across the road, the kind of people who they startle easier than a chihuahua, there is an inner strength in them. It is there. I have seen it. It is amazing. Never underestimate the underdog. And there is also a determination in each of us. And our strength and determination aren't always interlinked. Sometimes they are very separated. But they are there. And they are a valuable thing to self-mastery and self-empowerment. And they should not be underestimated at all. In fact, in the making of this video, I considered perhaps doing a video on the importance of these two things alone completely separate. They're so important. And I may still do that. We will see. Um, but if you are wanting to find that inner strength in you, if you're wanting to find that inner determination, Barith is a great entity to reach out to and work with. All right. So definitely reach out and give him a chat on those things. You can learn a lot about yourself there, really. Um, the last one, this is one I'm not too big on, but a lot of people use it and they have used it very effectively. And that is to help you to deceive others to believe what you want them to of you. Basically, he can help you lie to someone and make them think you're something you're not and make you look like all proper and fancy and important, even if you're not. This is kind of where we're getting that dignity. You know, he can make you look better than you really are. Or he can make, you know, just whatever it is. You want him to think you're a high class CEO? They can, believe it or not, he can pull it off. Now, be careful with this because every time you tell a lie, every time you try to push, um, a false story of any kind, even if it's backed by magic, you run the risk of pushing too far to where the person's insight, because we all have a natural insight to register bullshit, even if that uh, BS is 100% magically um, reinforced, and you run the risk of them seeing through it. So use this wisely if you're going to use it. Don't get caught. Um... And in a lot of ways, I tell people, it's like, don't use this on people you care about. Don't use this on people you want to truly be have as a friend or a trusted business associate. Because the day they realize you ain't what you made yourself out to be, trust went out the window. And that's a bad thing. You don't want that. Um, so if you use this, use it on those who are not going to be long-term um, people you need to depend on, people you need to trust, those kinds of things. Remember that. That would be the one caveat I give you. Now, of course, everyone's path is their own. Everyone has their own ethics. Everyone has their own ideals. My ideals, my personal thoughts and opinions may not apply to you. There's things that you would do, I wouldn't. There's things I would do, you wouldn't. That's one of the beautiful things about the occult practice. We are all very different. We all have our own path. Even people 
like in dragon magic where we say we are we study dragon magic we're on the draconic path or dragon magic path however you want to phrase it every practitioner is going to have that their path is going to be unique to them because they're going to face very different things in their life and they themselves as individuals are very different and that will affect the path so there is no one true path for us all forget that throw that out um, if you believe that, you might be on the wrong channel. I don't know. Hopefully, you can get some value and enjoyment from me all the same. Even if it's just to hear some crazy Southerner talk about magic while drinking coffee. All right. So, those are the things that, honestly, um, Barith is really good at helping with. Now, you all keep telling me you love the uns. It's um, great. Um, I actually got a great email where, you know, they were talking about this, the fact that I don't put a lot of value in uns personally because I know that there's so many ways to generate individual uns and all that. Um, but they were grateful that I understood other people wanted a starting point. Other people wanted to know them, even if it's just from a research perspective and that we included them. Well, we're happy to do so. We really are. Um, and the most common un I found for this particular entity goes as follows this one's a little tricky i'm gonna make sure it's up here on the screen as always um i tried to practice a little bit and i just i'll be honest i stumbled i don't know if i'm just off the day it's been it's been warm and i've been unpacking boxes and i'm a little tired i'll give you that much um definitely have a bit of dust going on so you know bear with me but we're going to try and get through this right all right here we go um hof ridar ganabal Barith, Hoth, Rindar, Ganabal, Barith. Hoth, Ridar, Ganabal, Barith. Hoth, Ridar, Ganabal, Barith. There we go. Um, This is one, honestly, you know, usually I say this is how I've heard it pronounced. This is one I've actually not been with another magician and heard their pronunciation. I tried to get a hold of a buddy of mine to... Uh, on the phone and get him to um, pronounce it for me in his methods um, but unfortunately his wife decided they needed to um, go shopping and then they needed to go to the lake and then there was a hotel involved and something about him crying over his credit limit I don't know but uh, <laughs> hey I stay out of it so I was unable to speak with him unfortunately so this is actually one where I can't say I've heard anyone but me um, say it and I did actually record me saying it and then play it back to myself and it just don't sound right it sounds weird even to me but there you go um hopefully I'll enjoy it that's one reason I'm glad I can put the words up here all right now I've already said my main experience with this spirit is in investing as well as understanding inter internal strength and determination um he has helped me make good investments he's helped me avoid bad investments um, at this point in time, I can't think of an investment he's advised me in that went bad. So, but I don't also, I currently can't think of every investment he's advised me in. So I don't want to say he's never steered me wrong. Okay. I really want to hesitate from that. You know, you guys know I'm cautious, but when it comes to internal strength and determination, he is one of the spirits that I have spent a lot of time talking to about strength and determination carrying on moving forward where do you derive your strength from why do you derive your strength from there um and it may sound ridiculous it may sound redundant but these conversations have had helped me to truly understand myself better um in ways that even things about me personally that i might have viewed negative um he pointed out that they're not negative in how I'm utilizing them. They're not negative in how I'm leveraging them because they're allowing me to help others in so many different areas and I'm not letting them control me. Um, and I'm utilizing them as strength and determination to be a better person for a better world. Um, I, I thought that was pretty cool. And... I know strength and determination and finding that inner strength and determination seems a little plausé, seems a little fluffy bunny, seems a little me. How could that be of help? If you're in a situation where your world's falling apart, you really don't know how you can continue 
um, doing what you're doing or how you can find the strength to make the change you need to make. Some people's never been there, but for those who have, you know that sometimes that one word from the right person just unlocks everything in your understanding that's required to move forward. And having an entity that you can call forth to not only understand your inner strength and um, determination, but to be that person to be like, hey, here's what you need to do. You got this. Um, and they know you. They know what you need to hear, not to just bullshit you. They know what you need to hear so that you know the truth of you. So you know that strength. And when you know that strength, the entire situation changes. You go from being sad and depressed to fired up and ready to go, almost like a pep rally for a sporting event. You know what I mean? And that really cannot be underestimated in one's personal growth and development. It really can't. So if nothing else about this spirit, I'd reach out and contact them on those points alone. All right. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I hope you enjoyed um hearing about Bereth and how he can be used in your practice. And I actually hope you consider reaching out to him and checking out, working with him, especially on internal strength and determination. Also, just so y'all know, Working Dragon Mystic has um, reached out with two outlaw soaps, which I do plan to do a video on, a magical video on, in fact. And because I've been using their products now for several months, fell in love with them. I just wanted to, you know, give them a heads up, small company, um, ethical, great business practices, all those. I think any company like that needs a nice little shout out when they get it. And not only did they agree to let me give them a shout out, guys, they gave us a link below. It's an affiliate link. So if you use it, it helps support the channel. Great. If you don't like affiliate links, I understand that. They also did with the affiliate link. You can also use um, all my viewers, promo code Working Dragon Mystic. Enter that at your order, get 20% off. Um, whether you use my affiliate link or not, you can still use the promo code for my viewers. I hope you enjoy it. Um, check their stuff out. My personal favorite is their gambler scent. When we do the uh, magical video on soaps and routines and stuff, um, you'll probably see that one. <laughs> okay. But yeah, daily routines, magical and practices. I wanted to do a video on that. All right. And until next time, everyone, I am Drake. This has been Working Dragon Mystic. Take care of yourself, keep working on your path, keep moving forward, keep improving, keep moving on that path of self-mastery, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.